um, when it comes to um, getting a, a marriage partner, whether you are male or female, it's the same thing. First thing you need to know is that you are a Christian and that whosoever you're going to get married to must be a Christian. So that's the first thing. That person must be a Christian. The second thing is that you require the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now, no matter how that person comes to you, whether recommended by someone else, whether you even saw him in a dream, whatever it was, you need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You need to know, you need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And that requires some training over a period of time, learning to listen to the Holy Spirit. So you need to train yourself to listen to the Holy Spirit so you can judge whatever comes to you. Because all the qualities you might want in anybody that you may find recommended in Scripture, for example, because you're passionate, you want someone who's equally passionate about the Gospel, you'd want someone who loves God. But there are no permanent ways of judging such things. There have been people who were passionate about God over a period of time, and after a while changed their minds. See, so no matter what you find, uh, it, it may come from your human observation or from the testimony of that other person. I mean, in the Bible, we're told that a certain man who was so close to Paul and ministered along with him, his name is Demas. He backslid after a while. And Paul said, Demas has left me, haven't loved this present world. He loved the world and went into the world. And that has happened to many a Christian. So what you need is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And that's one of the things that being in a, in a church that believes in the living of the Spirit and the Word of God can help you develop. So get yourself developed in the things of God. And those choices will be simple for you. They'll be as simple as being led in other areas of your life by the Holy Spirit.